presume the book of Arakaya has a section on how to deal with grieving ghosts. I'm sorry, I killed Maya. So you can find a use for me? Oh, I should think so. I'm gonna have to bleed you to death. Looks like we're the only ones left. we need to worry about now is Ella. Are you having a laugh, aren't you? I'd just feel better if she was out of the way. Joe, do you really think Ella can touch me now? No. I think there's only one person we still need to be worried about. Why don't you let me help you? Well, call me cynical, but I'm kind of suspicious of your motives right now. Call her and let me out! You're gonna die lonely, you know. And I hope I'm there to watch. You don't mean that. No friends. No family. A completely empty, pointless life. That's right. Bury your little head in your books. You don't belong in the real world, Ella. And the real world doesn't want you. Do you think I'm ever going to see my father again? Do you miss him? It's not like he was ever there. We all have to make our sacrifices, Malachi. Me more than most, eh? It better be worth it, this whole end of days thing. Because it's taken up a lot of valuable time. What would you rather be doing? Sitting on a beach in Thailand. Sitting on a beach almost anywhere. I guess we can go after we've finished. I think the world will be a very different place after today. Well, it's not going to screw up the beaches, is it? Because if it is, you can count me out. I don't want to hear this, but the lunatics have definitely taken over the asylum. 
It's like some freak cult down there. You should fit in fine, then. Excuse me, I'm not the nutter behind bars. How are you doing with that? She's failing. Just like she does with everything else. You're really beginning to get on my nerves. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why pick on me? I'm not the one who killed your girlfriend. Don't start. Dug her corpse out of a grave. Leon! And chopped off her pretty little head. I think somebody will do that for me when I'm gone. You really do care about people, don't you? I'm learning. From who? Isn't it obvious? <laughs> you know, if you open your heart, God will find you. It's all about having a little faith, Malachi. I'd rather put my faith in people. They have a tendency to let you down. There speaketh the voice of experience. I got off lightly compared to Jez. If I hadn't tempted him, he might still be alive. Maybe. This is stupid. You probably don't believe there's a God or a heaven or a hell. You can only go by your own experience. I guess so. Right now, this is doing me a lot of good. I certainly agree with that. You don't give up, do you? Seek and you shall find, Rox. Seek and you shall find. <clears throat> They're not for you. I'm testing them. What are you doing? Eating. Well, there's a surprise. Just ignore him. You know, I think you're single-handedly keeping the pork industry alive. Rather like you and the porn industry. Well, you know what they say. There's no company like your own. Ella may look 17, but parts of her are starting to show their age. Right. Feeding time. <clears throat> Get your potty chops around this. Uh, uh, say please. Thelma. Give me the sausage roll, or I'll dig up Maya's corpse and stick it in her. <gasps> I think we'd better do this sooner rather than later. Or I may just have to kill you myself. Are you coming to the party on Friday? I don't think so. It's, it's not really my kind of thing anymore. Well, there's a solid history of people using alcohol to get sex rocks. Goes right back to the Bible. Come, let us make our father drink wine, and we will lie with him. Genesis chapter 19. Poor old Lot. Got a bit more than he bargained for. I, mean, I can't promise you anything like that, but it should be quite a laugh. You're taking the piss out of me. No. Why would I do that? You're my guardian angel. I'm serious, Rox. If I left Medinum today, you'd be the only person I'd miss. Now, Alex isn't good for me. She leads me astray, and the rest of them have lost the plot. You don't believe me. <laughs> That's just how I'm a healthy sceptic. Please don't say that. I need you to believe me. What else have I got? You're different, you know. You make me feel safe. Don't you feel the same? Listen to a word I've said. Can't blame a guy for trying. Huh? He's out for the count. Do you really think this is going to work? It better. If he stays like that for much longer, he might say something really nasty. And you're sure about his biggest fear? It's the same as any other blokes, isn't it? Oh, and you're so in tune with men. Got any better ideas? I hope you're right. This doesn't work. We're only left with one option. Yeah. Good luck.
I just had the scariest dream. Thank God for that. Uh, why am I in a cage? Um, mm. How did this happen to me? You wanted to be my equal. It was your deepest desire. What does that mean? What did I do? What did I do, Ella? I need to know. You killed Tom. You thought he was an incubi, but he, he wasn't. Malachi wasn't interested in turning Tom. He just knew what his deepest desire was. What? What was Tom's deepest desire? You. He was in love with you. And you knew this? And you didn't tell me? It was too dangerous. For who? Me or Tom? Where is he? I want to see him. No, Leon, please. He's dead. Leave me. If you'd have involved me, this would never have happened. Why don't you trust me? Why do you have such a low opinion of me? Sorry. It's too late. just going to keep tearing each other apart. All this time, I've been trying to change you, trying to make you more human, but it's never going to work. All I ever wanted was for you to be honest with me. You used me like everybody else. No, Liam, that's not true. I killed Tom. But you have to accept that was partly because of you. I do, I do accept that. And I know I made you feel inadequate. I know that now. I just want something you can never give me. I want you to be proud of me. I want you to love me like I love you. I do. No, you don't. You don't even know what it means. You've been killing for so long. <laughs> You've forgotten what love is. I know you were right all along. You're better off on your own. for me, will you? Christian forgiveness. You're forgiven. You're lying. What do you want from me? I've made it perfectly clear I am not attracted to you. I do not fancy you. I am not going to shag you. Sorry. Sorry, humor's not my strong point. Oh, really, Malachi? What is your strong point? Self-flagellation. No, I'm going to drop to the ground and give you ten. 
It wouldn't impress me. Twenty? Malachi. Oh, sorry, I'm an idiot. What more can I say? Maybe you should just leave me alone for a little bit. I promise it might never happen again. When does it say you'll be gone for the summer? And I'll have to spend weeks worrying about how I upset you. Please. Forgive me. Or would you rather see me fry in a vat of hot oil? Lukewarm oil. I'll settle for that. Are you feeling a bit better now? I'm feeling absolutely fine. Do you think Leon's really gone for good? We can't worry about Leon now, Thelma. We have to worry about Malachi. Well, far be it for me to pass judgment, but I don't think we're doing very well. The whole school's kind of gone... Oh, Malachi. Well, that's where you're wrong. You see, the whole school hasn't. Please tell me this is leading to the words cunning plan, because at the moment, I don't see a way of winning this battle. Thelma, have I let you down before? Do you really need to ask that? Fair point. You will help me, though, yeah? Of course. OK. Well, in that case, I have a very cunning plan. Close your eyes and don't open them till I say ready. All right. <laughs> OK, you can open them. Behold, for it has come to pass. Thelma? No. Trainee Angel Xena at your service. What? Well, you get to change your name, you know. I've always been a fan. My mother was right. I'm going insane. No, 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 no. Don't go. You have been chosen. Your recent conversion has not been in vain, my child. God is all-seeing. He sees all, and he has seen you. Of course. Where do you think you go when you're dead? <laughs> I cleaned your bench today. Oh, that's sweet. You know, you're not nearly as bitchy as you used to be. Thank you. And you're really much more attractive. So, what does God want me to do? Hmm? You said I'd been chosen. Oh, yes. <clears throat> Look to the setting sun. Go east. For it is peaceful there. Isn't that west? Are you doubting God? Then this, my child, is your task. a bit hard on you earlier. It was wrong of me to reject you when you so clearly needed my help. Can I come in?
She bought it. Oh, yes. I don't know why we didn't think of this before. That was probably the best ten minutes of my life. Well, I'm glad you've had the best. Because I'm about to have the worst. You spend too much time in this life worrying about the physical world. The purpose of meditation is to transcend that physical world and reconnect with a realm beyond the sensory plane. You comfortable? Yes. Good, because it's very important to keep the mind still and the eyes closed. Okay, take a deep breath in. Okay, now visualize all the bad thoughts, feelings, and actions you've ever had. You got that? Okay, now breathe. <sighs> breathe them out. Breathe in with the good. Breathe out with the bad. In with the good. Out with the bad. This seems kind of extreme. I mean, what if something goes wrong? I can't help you. It's not like... Leon isn't here. And he's not coming back. So we're just gonna have to get on with things. Now, the fire will forge the metal, but only I can give it its power back. It feeds off my pain and fear. Oh, shit. Or maybe just insanity. Oh, oh my god. I used to like sticking my fingers into candles and picking off the hot wax, but I guess this isn't really like that. Ow! It's hot. Sorry. much good at stuff like that. All right, mate. You have done well, my child. This act will be remembered. I live to serve you. Really? That is all we ask. It's so beautiful. It was carved by the angels when they fell from heaven. Shall I continue my work with Malachi? Uh, probably best not. But I really feel there's some good in him somewhere. You and the rest of us, sweetheart, but I ain't seen no evidence so far. You must stay away from the boy. As you wish. There are some people who cannot be saved. But the Bible says that all who endure to the end will be saved. Well, sometimes the Bible's just wrong. Well, not wrong, but open to interpretation. This is all you need to know. Malachi is bad. God is good. Mm. I know about Malachi. I know that it wasn't your fault. Why didn't you tell me? Because I wouldn't have given a shit. Leon, I was in love with you. You were never going to feel the same as I expected to say. 
I'm so sorry. I was so caught up with Ella. You have to go back to her, Leon. Are you kidding? She needs you. No, she doesn't. That's the whole point. She, she doesn't need anyone. None of us can go it alone. Why do you care so much, anyway? I think it's sort of obvious that we're not going to be together. So you might as well be happy. Yeah, well... Sometimes the things we want aren't necessarily the things that are best for us. We would have been good. No. We were good. Good friends. Really good friends. See you again. I don't know, to be honest. Listen, will you do something for me? Will you write to my mum occasionally? I've told her loads about you. <laughs> she thinks she knows you. Yeah, of course. Does she think? Oh no, no, you're just my roommate. Well, you know what I mean. I'm gonna miss you. Me too. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. It's a big responsibility being an angel. She believed everything I said. I did a good job. Thank you. I still don't understand, though. Well, you may have fixed the knife. But he's way too strong to kill. Maybe. It wasn't always that way. There was a time when he was weak as a baby. Hello. 
What's happening? I made the life strong, didn't I? I put all of my fear and pain into it. Well, it definitely worked. Where are we going? Just get dressed. How am I supposed to know what to wear if I don't know where we're going? And just dress as if it's the last night of your life. Leon. Don't worry about that now. What he said about me being heartless. He didn't mean it. You kind of have to be to do the job I do. He's got to me, that boy. I know. He's very clever. He's the only one in all these years. You understand, don't you? What? I mean, you understand why I've lived the life I have. You will tell him. You can tell him yourself. Ella. I'm not angry anymore. Ella. Ella, you're going to be fine. What do you think? Gorgeous, as always. Oh, I need my black necklace. So, are we going to get something to eat? I'm starving. Oh, there'll be something on the menu, yeah. Alex, where's the stone? The amber stone? It was here earlier on. Yeah, but it's not here now. Well, nobody else has been here. Except Roxanne. And what was she doing in here? I thought she was trying to seduce me. But clearly I was wrong. Better the last time I saw you. Well, if you'd been on a permanent loop through the nine circles of hell, you wouldn't look too hot either. Can I get you a drink? No stomach left, dear boy. And no time either. I'm here to stop you making a grave mistake. I'm sorry. Where are you off to? I'm taking you to the canteen. Hey, Rox. We've been waiting for you. through all this to learn what you could have told me all along. What's that? Love isn't a demon sent to snare me. If I told you, you wouldn't have believed me. You're kind of stubborn like that. I think I tried to deny it. It gets you in the end. Oh, yes. It reaches in and wraps up your heart. But it isn't a bad thing. No. Well, not unless the other person doesn't feel the same. I should have told him. And now it's too late. I spent all my time making him feel bad, telling him I didn't want him. It's such a waste. He's your perfect fit, isn't he? I think he knew. Really? Yeah. You're sweet. Will you stay with me, Vilma? Of course. 
house. <laughs> I don't have any family. I do have a friend. <laughs> I don't want to die alone. <laughs> so, if he has the whole school under his control, what next? I mean, what exactly does Malachi want? Apart from a good slap, you mean? He wants to bring about Yamin Aherim, the end of days. Day appointed from ancient times, when the sons of light shall batter against the sons of darkness amid the shouts of the mighty multitude and the clamor of gods and men. Will you have to fight? On whose side? Both as bad as each other. Besides, I have a feeling I will be of limited use. I have paid the price for my betrayal. Well, then you should fight him. The war will solve nothing, Leon. We're entering dark times, whoever wins. I've traveled this cosmos long enough to know that there is only one thing worth fighting for. One thing that truly moves people and makes them better than they are. And that is love. me, Rox. I thought you would turn. I thought you would eventually give in. I'm impressed. So what, now you're going to force me? What would be the point in that? I'm not exactly sure on female company. But we had to test you. We had to know for sure that you were truly pure. And for that, of course, you'll be rewarded. A heaven. That's sweet. What makes you think it's filled with people any better than me? God seeks to deny us, to confine us to the abyss. But we will not be silenced anymore. Long ago, on the shores of Lake Kinneret, a man foretold this. He called it Yamin Rahim. The end of days. She's bleeding to death, Leon. Ella. Ella, come on. Quick, get me some water. Water? It's okay. I'm here now. You're gonna be okay. We need to cauterize the wound. What? I thought you watched a lot of ER. <gasps> we need to burn the end of the blood vessels. That'll stop the bleeding. How do we do that? Well, in Star Wars, they use the lightsaber. Be very proud, Roxanne. Yours will be the sacrifice that started it all. Those who endure to the end will be saved. The prophecy calls for a pure soul. And you have proved yourself pure of heart. Spilling your blood is a provocation. When the life drains from your body, he will listen. Truly, his creature. 
And he is a jealous god. It was all a dream. <laughs> oh, I wish. Guys? I hate to interrupt. I mean, I know it's the end of the world and everything, but do you think I've got time to change first? I'm starting to feel a bit silly. Why don't you go and do that now? No. Actually, I think I might stay and watch. It's not like I haven't seen it before. In <laughs> fact, you've a lot to thank me for, Leon Taylor. One little slip of that knife and I could have put an end to your sex life altogether. <laughs> thank you, Thelma. It's my pleasure. God, give me strength. I think he might have other things on his mind. 